Series Painting. Today we are going to be painting this little pot of red flowers, if you want to call them geraniums, whatever you want to call them. But hope you're going to join me on this journey today and welcome to Sherry's Painting. We'll see you on the next step. Okay everyone, so for this project you will need um, your watercolor paints. It really doesn't matter what kind of watercolor paints you have. Um, they're all pretty good and they all have pretty good pigment. The ones that I'm using are Derwent um, and I've got, I think I've got a couple of um, Winsor Newton and uh, Daniel Smith as well but uh, most of them are Derwent paint so they're a pretty reasonable price. Um, I'm also using three we'll be using three brushes maybe even just two but I'll let you know um, so this flat one just a cheapy little flat brush that I picked up somewhere it's just a synthetic brush uh, a Princeton probably number 10 and a Princeton number six I may go more with the six on this painting um, but I feel like I might use all of them so I'll let you know when I switch it up um, we will be using a couple of Tombow pens, um, though not all of these for sure. So I've got an N15 here. I have a N60, um, an N95, which we'll use for drawing, an N79, um, and which is more of the sepia tones, and then uh, an N65, uh, as well. This one here, that N60 is more of the blue um, tones. So we'll be using maybe some of those, but I'll let you know again. I have several Micron pens here as well. Probably what I'm going to be using is the uh, point, uh, 0.2 or point 0.3 uh, pens. I'll let you know though again as long as you have a few Micron pens there to grab. I have a um, a Faber-Castell extra small one here too in case I run out um, and so that's about it um, for that and so the first thing I want to do or the first thing we want to do is we want to water or get our paints activated so what you want to do there is you want to grab your little spray bottle and hopefully you guys can see this. And oh, and you'll need paper towel and two little jars of water, one for cleaning, one for um, one for rinsing, one for cleaning. So I'm just gonna spray along in here with my little spray bottle. And this just activate, activates the pigment. So when we want pigment, we're not definitely not using all these colors um, today, but we'll be using a few for sure. So, so let's get started. There's not much drawing to this. Again, um, I'm trying to keep it as minimal, minimalistic as I can. So this uh, N95, um, the pen side is great for just doing little sketches. So, so basically what's going to happen, oh, I got water on my page. Um, I'm, oh, also the, um, I've got a Canson XL mixed media watercolor book here. Okay. Um, so the pages in this one is, are a little thicker than your regular sketch pads. So, so here we go. Um, all we're doing is we're going to draw, I'll show you actually with these pens, what we're going to draw. There's going to be a line right here. Okay. That is going to be a wall. There's going to be a step right here that sticks out from the wall about that far and down this way. And, and then we're just going to have a little pot of geraniums. So that's it. That's it for the, for the drawing. It's pretty simple. Okay. So here we go. I'm going to draw this wall and it's, and notice how, where I'm holding my pen or where I'm holding the Tombow. So I'm just going to draw it about right here and I want character on this wall. So I don't want it to be perfectly nor or perfectly wonderful. There is going to be a little step that comes out about right there like that and it will come down. And again, I don't want it to be perfect. It is going to, um, that is the edge of the wall over that way. It is gonna have 
um, a ledge that goes up this way. And this is all gonna be covered up anyway. So um, I just want that out. And then the step goes there, the step goes back here. I feel like I'm gonna have that step out a little further and against the wall there, that way, okay? Um, and then the, the ground is gonna be here and there's gonna be, it's gonna go out about here and then there's gonna be a little corner there, okay? So, and that's it for, for the wall slash step, okay? Um, this actually is gonna come out here a bit more because I altered that a little bit. There we go. And that's going to be like a little, almost like a little beam. But anyway, won't worry about that because it's all going to be yellow anyway. I just want this step to come out. That's, that's the main thing. That's what I want going on there. And then our little pot of geraniums is going to sit right about here. So I just want you to make like a little banana line, I guess. And it's gonna come down and it's gonna pretty much sit right in that corner there. Just like that, have it round at the bottom. It's gonna have a dish as well coming out the bottom. So it's a little rounder at the bottom. And then this is gonna be our geranium and it's gonna go off that way, that way, that way, that way. We're gonna have the light come in from, from um, this side. So, um, yeah, so we'll figure that out too. So that's it for the drawing. I mean, it's pretty, pretty simple, I would say. Okay, so let's get started. Um, the first color I, or the first brush I'm going to use is my little flat. And um, yeah, we're going to go in and th this is going to be just a very simple, 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 simple little painting. So I want you to dip your brush in water. I am going to go right into my... Um, I believe it is, let me just look at my little trusty sheet. I have written on a sheet here all my colors because I don't remember what they're called. Um, so this one is yellow ochre and we're going to go in and I'm just going to go up in here and I'm just going to dip in a little water, go up here. Again, we're going to cover up that plant. I'm going to dip in a little bit more water. I'm going to go into the burnt sienna and i'm going to add a little bit of that in there this is going to be pretty true to life we'll probably have to draw our pot again but oh well big deal again i'm going to go back into that yellow ochre we're going to go in here okay we'll probably leave that pot there and i also might grab a little touch of my indian red in here as well just to give it a little something, something. There we go. Done. Oh, I see I got something in there. Okay, there we go. That's done. And in the step as well, I'm just going to go in there again with that Indian yellow. And it's going over the step here and back in here. I might add a little more, like I said, that red color in here because it'll be a bit darker back in here. So I'll just add that right now and if you get little blooms and st things in your painting it's all good this little piece here is going to be again i feel like it's going to be a terracotta color these are pretty true life colors that i'm using today everyone um so i just i just felt like this little painting deserved a place in my in my sketchbook. I'm not sure why that's not coming off, but anyway. So so that's it for the drawing or the painting for now. I'm just going to um, actually pick up a little bit of this because I feel like I don't want it that dark in here. There we go. But other than that, that is about it. We're gonna I'm gonna do a little more red under here like this. There we go, under that step, where that step is. There we go. Okay, just to accentuate that step a little more and also the wall. Just do a little slide up there and then down in here as well because it comes down this way and that's gonna be dark in there too. And then our pot is gonna be 
I think I'm gonna have our pot a little bit more on the gray side. So I'm gonna put that in real quick. I'm just gonna use a little bit of Payne's gray here just to add that in on this side. I'm gonna keep the other side of the pot pretty much white. And then we're gonna let that dry and we're gonna come back in with the um, with the felt nib, the felt pens here in a minute, and we're gonna go from there. Okay, I'll see you back at the next step. Okay, everyone, so once that's dry, we're gonna take our, um, I'm gonna take my point zero zero five micron pen here. And I'm going to change up the way the shape of this pot a little bit. So I'm going to make it more, oh, this one's out. So I'm going to use my extra small Faber-Castell one here. So I'm going to change up the shape of the pot a little bit here because we're allowed to do that at this stage. And it's going to sit like that. And then it's, I'm just going to leave it like that for a minute. I'm going to make it um, have another piece around, but I think I'm just going to leave it like that for a minute. So what, what I'm going to do is um, also, sorry about this, I'm going to um, just sort of trace out this step here. There we go. Just like that. And then it's going to go back and it's going to go there. And you know what? I'm going to go over it with squiggly lines here because it's not perfect. And in fact, there might be a few little chunks out of it. I'm going to put the, the wall at the back here and then it's going to come out this way. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to put in this. It's going to come out like that from there. And that just whoop, represents a bit of perspective here. And there and there. OK, and then we'll go over that as well. I might have another one actually that comes out here again. They're bigger and further apart. There we go. Okay. So that's that's the basis of the of the floor. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to go in and I'm going to take my number 6 um Princeton brush and I'm going to go and I'm putting it into um, my scarlet color, okay? And I'm gonna get quite a bit of paint because this is gonna be like a really big contrast. So we know that the light's coming from this direction, from there. So I'm gonna start at the back here and I'm just gonna basically dab on a few little red marks here and I'm gonna continually load my brush and I want to leave spaces in there okay because we're still going to use we're still going to put green in there as well and then as I get over here it's going to get a little bit lighter and these are just a little pot of red flowers who even knows what they are but so I'm just going to leave that like this on this side comes down that pot a little bit Maybe there are some that are on the ground here as well, falling off. Because, I mean, they do lose their, their stuff. So, and then I'm going to dip into my, my water again. And now I'm going to go into a bit of a light green color. So I think the green I have is just called light green. So I'm going to go in there and I'm going to put a little bit of that in here as well just to dab that in but I still want some space in there and then we're going to let that dry for a bit okay this side I'm pretty much leaving alone for now 
um, cause I don't really want all the color to run together. So I'm going to leave that alone for now. This little highlight in here is perfect cause we're going to add a little shade in here as well. So I'm going to go back with my, um, with my micron pen or my, sorry, my extra small, uh, Filbert, um, Faber Castell, sorry, can't talk this morning. And I'm just going to go and I'm going to make these so that this is not even, okay? Because it's really not an even surface here. These walls have little, the walls and the floors have, um, you know, they've been there for, for many years. So they might have chips going out of them. They might have um, things happening to them. So they're never going to be perfect perfect little little lines here so we're just gonna go and do that and make it so that it's not perfect because we don't want our stuff to be perfect because things are not perfect in here I'm gonna use the Tombow here um, just the um, the number 79 and I'm just gonna go and add a little bit of shade here not much because that sun's going to be hitting somewhat there. But I'm going to add a little shade back in here. Because it's definitely going to be hitting in here. And that plant pot is going to have some shade back here. So let's just add a little bit there. Just to see. Just for shadow sake. Also in here as well. I feel like there's going to be there and under here as well. It's going to be shade right in there with the Tombow. There you go. Just like that. And there might be even a little shade here too. There we go. Okay, but not so that it, you know, looks like, because the sun's coming this way. So we want a little bit of, of shade in there. Also, we don't know what's over here. So maybe we'll add um, a little bit of, sh of um, shadow in here because we really don't know what, what that is going on back there. Maybe there's a tree back there that we don't know about. Maybe there's a little bit piece of shadow in here. And, and I'm being pretty loose and free with this, everyone. It's not, you know, um, it's not a, um, yeah, it's just <laughs> being pretty loose and free with the whole scenario. Because I, I really don't think that, um, that we want to spend every moment making things look absolutely perfect. So here, I'm just going to add a little line here as well to indicate that wall. And again, my lines are definitely not straight, so don't worry about that. Perhaps we've got a little bit of shadow on this step for some reason. Let's add that in there. Perhaps we've got, maybe we're going to use the blue, the N60. Maybe we've got a little bit of shadow off in this one or this one. And it's got just a little bit of depth to the to the picture here. So maybe this is just off in here and off in the and maybe this one here too. Just a little bit of um, of shading and, and depth. And maybe we've got a little bit of you know a different color of shade and it's just right in there. And I'm just using little squiggly squiggly lines here. Perhaps there's some cracks in here we don't know about, you know? So maybe this one is this color here, like that. And then I feel like I might even add that there. Just to make that nice and dark back there, we might add a little bit of, um, of dark in there too, but I feel like I'm gonna use more of the gray color to make that pot. A little darker so now we're going to go in with that green again because i that's had a bit of time to dry here so i'm just going to add in a bit of green just to indicate leaves here and again this isn't every single little leaf here this is just um you know just indication that's all we're doing is fooling the eye so it's just a little dab motion 
And again, you want to keep some white pieces showing through there. This is nice and white at the front there, a little bit darker toward the back. And then, and a little few little green leaves in there too. And maybe there. And then I'm going to go in with the, the quite dark green. So the green I'm going to be using is, is permanent green. That's what it's called, or sap green, sorry. So it's a sap green. It's a little bit darker pigment. I'm going to use that in here as well. Just dab your brush a little bit. And again, it's going to be toward the back here because this is where all the shadow is and where the, um, you know, everything is going to be darker toward the back. Don't kill all the white spots. There will be a few dark pieces here too, but nothing too serious because that just then indicates that light coming through. A few little dark pieces here and there. There we go but nothing to, not like we have over on the other side where it's in shadow. And then again, I'm going to throw a couple of leaves on the ground here as well because they probably have fallen as well. So add a little, few little leaves there on the ground just to show that they may have fallen. And I'm also going to put... Um, Probably, I think I'm going to put a little bit more red up in here just to have that go out a little more. Oh, this way. There you go. And maybe there's one falling down here. I just feel like I want to make this plant just a little bit bigger. There we go. And not so uniform. There we go. That's better. A little bit, a little bit over here, too. There we go. I feel like that is more conducive to what we're trying to do. So now I'm going to go in with that gray color. Um, it is Payne's gray. It's not, um, it's not black. I don't ever use black because I find it's just too dark. And I'm just going to go in here. And this is going to be fairly dark here. And then I'm going to add a little water to that. And we're just going to take that over here and just bring it out this way. Going to be a reflective light there. And then I'm just going to add a little bit underneath here just to indicate shadow under here. So just like this. And I want it a little bit darker there just to indicate some shadows under there. And I might even go in with a little bit of purple here because purple is purple is kind of the the shadowy color. So and I'm just going to dab it along that side there. Nice and easy, nice and simple, a little bit there and possibly in here, too, just to loosen that up a touch, because like I said, you just never know what is over here. So. And maybe it's a slightly different color in here too. Just gonna add a little bit in there as well. There we go. And then I'm gonna wait for that to dry and um, I might do a little hatching on that, but I gotta wait for it to dry first. So I will see you back at the next step. Okay, everybody. Um, so this is the last step and then we're gonna be done. So we're gonna take our Micron. I'm gonna use a zero two here. And I'm going to go in and I'm going to, um, I'm just going to put a little bit more definition on the edge of our pot here and on our step. And I'm also going to add a few little cracks and things to the walls, okay? Because sometimes with these walls, they have, um, they just have little cracks and stuff on them and they you know they're definitely not uh, perfect and this is the pillar a pillar here and then the shading so i'm just going back and forth with and i'm using a zero two micron pen for this and it could be that this side if you have a really shaky hand for this step it works perfect again this wall is going up 
or this wall over here. So I'm just gonna add those. And it's like adding like little tree branch <laughs> effects. Possibly I'm just gonna go underneath that one and also a few on this one, but I don't wanna overdo it too much. Maybe here and maybe that one's coming out that way a little bit. And again, over here on this side, possibly there's going to be a few little cracks there and then in here what I'd like to do is I'm going to add a little bit of hatching in here so I'm just going to go with the pen just to indicate that shade there and up in here as well just underneath there I might use it a little bit on the pot as well in here just like this not a whole lot, but just a little bit, just to indicate that shade under there, as well as under here. And in here, I'm just accentuating that step. There we go. And maybe there's a little crack coming up from there too. And then what I'm, I'm not gonna do a whole lot more with the flowers because I feel like the flowers um, look good the way they are, but I am going to go back in here a little bit and darken that up because I feel like it needs to be a little bit darker. So I'm going to use my brush pen and I'm going to go in here again. And I'm just going to make that just a touch bit darker in there. And as well as on my pot here, just a little bit darker. Just like that. And then I'm gonna use my, my number six and I'm just gonna dip it in some water and then we're gonna bring that out a little bit. These Tombows are great for this. So they, you can spread that around a little bit, but not so much and blend it a little bit. There you go. It's perfect, good. I like it a lot. Now you could go in and you could highlight with the marker. You could go back in and I can show you what to do here. You could go back in here and just sort of highlight the, the little flowers here if you want, which, you know, maybe we'll do that in a few little spots here and there, but it's a little bit wet back here still. So I'm just gonna get, there we go. Just a few little, you know, a few little spots. There we go. And maybe there's a few in here too, just to give it a little highlight or low light or whatever you, whatever you want to call this. And then that just makes it ex accentuates the red a little bit more. Same here on this side, but not so much. I want, I really want that side just to pop just the way it is. So, and then what you might want to do here, I'm going to go in here and, and um, cross hatch that just to make it a little darker, just like that, just to show that shadow. And I may go and cross hatch maybe in this one too, just for a little bit of different texture in there, as well as maybe this one. There we go. So that adds a little bit of texture in there as well. Um, you can cross hatch in here too if you like which again gives it a little more of a, a feel there and other than that i'm gonna sprinkle some dots on here um with the red that we used or sprinkle do do a few little sprinkles here just to indicate um that it comes out over here. I might do a couple up here just for fun because I love the look of this. And I might even do a few yellow ones or a few of the the sienna or the, I think the yellow, I feel like I'm gonna use the yellow for this. So again, just a few more over here, just to add a little something, something. You don't wanna overdo it. But that is our finished work. I'm just going to sign my name right here. Like that. And that, my dears, is all she wrote. So I hope you enjoyed this 
um, painting and we'll see you on the next one. Bye for now.